Hey guys, Johnny again. All right, this video is um, just something I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to show and see if anybody else will show their stuff as well. Um, obviously, there's lots of other bands or artists that most of us metal and heavy, well, thrash guys uh, never, um, never show other stuff. Uh, maybe we don't even have anything, but um, I do have lots of other things, lots of other artists and that. And I thought, right, I'm going to show. Um, I was going to show just. I was going to show ten albums uh, by. Uh, well, not ten albums, but one album by ten different artists, bands, or whatever. Um, and that is not rock or heavy metal or thrash. Uh, you know this, but this is in the eighties. So it's going to be the. I'm doing the eighties one. So um, I try and do a 70s one in another video and uh, maybe, maybe, I don't think I'll be able to do a 90s. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a, uh, this is going to be the 80s. Um, so I've actually gone with 12 albums, 12 different artists. So um, first ones I pulled out were... Um, I've shown this not so long uh, recently, actually, probably last week, I think. Um, and it's the band Talk Talk. These are bands that I still listen to to this day that are from the 80s. And um, yeah, this is uh, the, the best of that came out in 1990, which I did originally have on cassette. And I uh, was listening to Talk Talk again a couple of days ago. So in my car, I am... It says Talk Talk. Um, another one uh, by this is uh, Richard Marx, and I really do like Richard Marx's uh, stuff. Um, and I was quite late. Uh, no, what was I? I got into Richard Marx when that song Hazard came out, and I bought his his albums on cassette and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is the only. I've got two of these, but this is the only ones I have on vinyl, the album on vinyl, sorry. But yeah, I do love his stuff. Um, and yeah, not rock or metal or thrash. Or <laughs> so, uh, another one which people might go, what, eh? I do like this um, singer. And um, this is uh, from 1985, I think, or four. I think so. 1984. Um, this is the. This is. Uh, I, do, I, I, I don't mind what he's, he, he songs at all. I, I like listening to his voice. So, uh, other than that horrible song, um, The Lady in Red. And it is Christopher. And uh, yeah, I do like his stuff. And uh, this is Man on the Line. And uh, yeah, I've got quite a few of these records. Uh, I've got more CDs than um, vinyl. Uh, and then another one that I listen to, um, which most of you guys in the VC will know that I listen to. And um, it is uh, Chris Rear, and I love his voice as well. And this is Shamrock Diaries. This is probably my one of my um, the albums that I listen to. I would listen to more. Um, it's got the uh, the awesome song on there, Hired Gun. I love that song. Um, check out that song. Uh, Chisel Hill, Shamrock Diaries. I love. Um, to do Stainsbury Girls and stuff like that. Love Turns to Lies as well. It's another good song. Uh, yeah. Steel River, but yeah, Christopher, <laughs> Christopher, Chris Rear. I get that. Oh, I. Trying to get these two not mixed up when I'm doing it. Nightmare. All right, here we go. Uh, a band that I got into when the song Shout came out back in 1985, and uh, but I never bought their albums until later on. It was one of the first songs I remember listening to on the radio in the car, uh, and it came on. I thought, wow, awesome! And it is uh, by the band Tears for Fears, and I uh, used to listen to their stuff hell of a lot in the um 
late 80s, early 90s. So yeah, Tears for Fears, and uh, this is my favourite album of theirs, The Hurting. Uh, another brilliant band that I love, and I still listen to all of their stuff, still to this day. And it is um, Aha, and uh, I pulled out Stay On This Roads, because normally I I pull out a Scoundrel Days album, but uh, I thought, well, I'm going to bring this out, because the Love and Daylights is on it. It's not the one light that was released. Um, it's it's different version to the one that was released as a single. And um, Stay On These Roads, absolutely amazing. Love that song. That's on here as well. And that's from 1984. Uh, 88 that one and another band that I do listen to but mainly like the greatest hits and stuff because there's always a m m the greatest hits of this band is brilliant absolutely brilliant I love it um, and it is Duran Duran's and this is their album uh, Seven and the Ragged Tiger and uh, yeah love that it's got the reflex on New Moon on New Moon on Monday, I love that song, absolutely love that, and uh, what else is on there, Union of the Snake, so yeah, uh, another band in that vein uh, that I love, and I still listen to this stuff today, apart from I haven't listened to the new albums lately, but um, I definitely love the 80s stuff the most, and it is um, Depeche Mode, this is Black Celebration, and uh, yeah, this one is the embossed cover. This is awesome. Um, love the song Stripped, Black Celebration, Sometimes, Question of Lost, Question of the Time. Uh, and that would be my favourite songs on there, for sure. But yeah, this song's a bit pathetic. This one here called New Dress, Can't Stand That. That's uh, about Diana, Princess of Wales' dress that she was wearing. And I think the story goes, uh, there was, you know, lots of bad things going on in the world and all the media could think about was Princess Diana's new dress as the main headlines. Pathetic, right. Uh, and then this band that I love as well and female fronted, absolutely awesome. Uh, I really love their stuff they've done. And it is Berlin. And this is... Uh, Count Three and Pray, absolutely love that. And uh, this has got um, Like Flames, oh, absolutely amazing song. Um, I'll just take my breath away, he's on here as well. This is 1986. So, absolutely amazing. Um, another artist that I used to listen to a lot and I still do like his stuff. I just haven't put the put anything on for um, a while, and it is um, Howard Jones, and uh, this is Human Lib, Human's Lib, and this has got uh, What Is Love, Pearl in the Shell, Hide and Seek, new song, um, and those are like the main uh, singles from that album. I do like his stuff and you know like songs like like to get to know you well and things like that and I remember that when that was out in the charts on top of the pops I was like wow I'd love to get that stuff one day um another artist from the 80s that I really do like listen I like his voice a lot as well uh even though you know I don't own a lot of his stuff but what I do own I do like and it is uh Paul Young and this is the album Between Two Fires from 1986. This has got Some People, Wonderland. Uh, what's the other ones? I know on here any. I can't remember the other songs so much, but those main ones. And I mainly listen to like the greatest hits of his stuff, best of compilations. But yeah, there's that album. And this band here, which um, I do like a few songs. I'm not hugely into them as much as the other bands but i do like some of their stuff and i do like the guys the guys sing our uh, voice um and mine is still sealed from new <laughs> from 1989 it's completely sealed and it is um then jericho 
in the album, the big area. I've got this a couple of times on CD, but it's still sealed. And uh, Sugar Box is my favourite song on there. Um, big Area is an amazing song. Um, just absolutely amazing. Love that. So yeah, that's um, 12 albums. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 albums by um, 12 different artists. And uh, yeah, I'd like to see other people's um, take on that. Show 10 albums um, or whatever whatever you can show, really. Um, I'd like to see more people show uh, stuff that, you know, not 80s stuff, but not what you would normally show. So there you go. Cheers. Keep rocking. See you later.